2014, the U.S. Air Force admits they can control the weather. By 2017, that reality hits home. Take the red pill. Hey everyone, it's Red Pill here. I uh, just thought I would do an update on Hurricane Irma because of all the hype I see out there and some people putting out models that don't seem to make sense. Now, the news organizations are only showing us predictions for the hurricane, for Hurricane Irma, using what looks like to be just the icon model. And I believe that only goes out to September 6th. If we look here on VentuSky, there are three models here and I'm going to use the GFS model because it happens to be apparently included in the top four most reliable models but the icon model if we select that it only goes out to the sixth and this is seem, seeming to be the model that the newscasters are using and so it only shows Hurricane Irma going to Santa Domingo now they may say that's just because they don't want to take chances on reliability or maybe they're keeping it from you that the path has a more advanced uh, forecast for some reason. I don't know. I guess they like to keep people guessing. So first, let me show you this. Uh, let's go to uh, Live Science. Uh, I went to go and look up hurricane season for 2017. And here's what they say. Officially, the Atlantic hurricane season starts on June 1st and will run until November 30th. In the Eastern Pacific Ocean, hurricane season begins May 15th and ends November 30th, according to National Weather Service. However, most of the storms hit during peak hurricane season between August and October on both coasts, according to the National Weather Service's Climate Prediction Center. Uh, that's fine. We'll take that as a given. That's, uh, that's probably pretty, pretty accurate. So now, if we go back over here to VentureSky.com, we take a look at Irma on the 6th, where everybody's predicting it to be. And then this is where you got everybody guessing that, saying that it might come down here and hit Texas again and hit uh, Alabama or whatever. But none of the models that are here predicted going there. Actually, all the models predict this kind of a track here, which is going up into Virginia, North and South Carolina, and Georgia. If you take a look at the GFS model, the GEM model almost agrees. The GFS model on the 6th has it in the same place. You go out two days to the 8th. Now they have it above Santo Domingo. On the 7th, I think it was down here in Santo Domingo. If you go out to the 9th, it's right at the edge of the Florida panhandle. Okay, So the Floridians, Floridians are probably going to see signs of the hurricane first. If you go to the 10th, that's when it's predicted to make landfall with Florida. And then the 11th, this is the this is the uh, hurricane danger zone right here on the 11th, according to this model. Now, this could change because apparently this is going to change after the 12th. But as it stands right now, the GFS model is showing that Irma is going to make landfall and make connection with Virginia, North and South Carolina, and Georgia. So I just want to kind of dispel the myths that are out there and see if I can't help clear this up. We'll just wait for this to catch up here. And there you see we're looking at wind speeds on land roughly in the hundreds to the 90s and 80s. So it's not going to be as bad as people thought unless they geoengineer the storm and make it worse. Um, these wind speeds here you see are offshore. So there's my two cents on Hurricane Irma. Take it for what it's worth. Uh, I just thought I would try to add my two cents and try to clear up uh, any of the rumors. On the 12th, it's, it's, it's looked like it's going to make landfall up here just under Pennsylvania and around Illinois, and it's going to die off. 
Now with regard to Hurricane Irma, you can also look at it in Google Earth itself. Google Earth is actually showing it where it is right now today on um, September 3rd. And where that area is where it's predicted to make landfall is right here. And this is Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. And it's going to come right around in this area. So it's a pretty large swath of land that's going to get hit by Hurricane Irma, just so you know. So if you want to follow it in Google Earth, you can also follow it in Google Earth because they're showing where it is right now. So there's that. <clears throat> Now, what am I saying about this storm? <clears throat> With regard to Hurricane Irma, am I saying it's not going to be bad? No way. It's going to be bad. Wherever it hits, if it makes landfall, it's going to be dangerous. <clears throat> the thing is, is that I want to show you this so that you don't have to panic or fear. You have seven days warning to make preparations. If you have a basement, stock it up with food and water, medical supplies, even vitamins. If you don't have access to a safe place when Irma hits, then find somewhere that does. Um, if you have friends in another state, go west, go north, go to a state where you know it's not going to hit. Batten down the hatches and bail. You've got a week to prepare. All I'm saying is that don't sit here looking at the news while they're telling you that the storm, eye of the storm is just down here. This is where, like, where Jose is sitting right now, keeping you guessing because they don't want to give you any further information pr to predict where it's going to be. If it's going to be anything like the Hurricane Harvey in Texas, it's going to be bad. There's going to be a lot of waterfall. Okay, there's going to be a, there's going to be death. So what you want to do is make sure that you are prepared well enough that you survive this thing, get out of it, or you don't die. <clears throat> One of those three things would be good. Now, if this thing makes its way up to New York, then the same thing goes for people in New York and Pennsylvania. You should still prepare just because the eye of the storm doesn't look like it may come up there. If these people geoengineer this storm and make it move north, then you'll be better off for having had your preparations made for purchasing extra supplies. It can't hurt. It's insurance you can eat. I'm not saying panic and go rush the stores. That's not what I'm saying at all. You don't want to do that because that's going to cause even more problems. Just... Take it with a level head, hit the stores, think before you go, what do you need? Basic necessities, you could use some rice, some sterno for cooking in case the power goes out if you have electric, uh, a gas grill or a hibachi with uh, charcoal if you have an area where you can cook outside and the water doesn't flood, luckily if you're in a high area. Um, Water, definitely get lots of water and uh, medical supplies and even vitamins. These are all things you need anyway. So I'm not saying it's not going to be bad. I'm just saying you have a week, get prepared. It might hit this area. It might hit New York. You don't know. It's probably not going to go down here to, to Houston. These people are, these are weather weapons, okay? This is what we're witnessing. This is World War III. It's already begun. These are the weapons. Be smart. Be smarter than your enemy. Prepare and get ready to withstand the storm. Literally withstand the storm, okay? Or just get outside of it so that you're not in it. Um, that's all I'm saying. So don't be afraid. Don't let all the hype get you all nervous and or paralyze you in fear and you do nothing. That God, God forbid you do nothing. Don't just sit there and do nothing. At least do something. Make preparations in some way. If you can't afford to make preparations, then try to find people who can help you either make preparations or get out of the way. Okay, so there's that. There's my two cents on Hurricane Irma. Remember, the truth is out there waiting to be found. Wake up. Take the red pill. Join the red pill in for more.
Break the Matrix. Free your mind. Take the red pill.